Now, Mr. Farage, for two minutes. Well, President Barroso, you're certainly flexing your muscles using the powers given to you by the Lisbon Treaty, which you push through using illegitimate means. You now do everything you can on the world stage and within the EU to acquire all the attributes of statehood. And nowhere could that be more apparent than in your recent proposal for a direct tax to be levied by the European institutions on the peoples of this continent. Of course, in previous times, there was a very successful independence movement that campaigned on the slogan of no taxation without representation. And you certainly, sir, are not a representative. We haven't voted for you and we can't remove you. So I think with this direct tax, you actually made a mistake. And what an expensive club it's becoming. Just two years ago, Britain's net contribution was £3 billion a year. This year, it's £6 billion. Next year, it'll be £8 billion. The year after that, it's due to be £10 billion. And now we hear that you want to take away the British rebate. You want to get rid of the British rebate, which will mean by 2013, our contribution will be £13 billion. It will have quadrupled in the space of six years. And simply, the taxpayers of Britain, realising all of this, seeing your direct tax, will conclude that we simply can't afford the European Union. But I do see a ray of hope. The Deauville deal between Merkel and Sarkozy, the thing that you're all so terrified of today, I hope it happens. Let's have a new treaty. You yourselves seem to be almost supporting it. Let's have a new European treaty and let's put it to a referendum in lots of countries, particularly in Britain, and the British people will conclude that this is a very bad deal for Britain. They'll vote for us to leave the European Union and begin the unravelling. Thank you. Well, we're happy to go. Thank you. Mr. Schulz. Herr Farage. Mr. Farage, I have a question. Maybe you could give us a, an answer. You seem so concerned about the tax coffers in the UK, and you, the same as I, had an opportunity to decide where you would get your daily allowances from at the start of this electoral period, whether it be from the national coffers or the European Union coffers. Maybe you could tell the House whether your daily allowances come from the EU budget or from if you opted for the national system in the UK. I think we ought to do away with this notion of European money. Prior to there being a direct tax, there is, as we speak today, no such thing as European money. It's our money. We are a massive net contributor into this European Union for no single economic benefit in return whatsoever. No, no, no. <laughs> non it's our money. Non posso non po President Barroso. President Barroso. No, uh, I usually do not intervene, but there is a point of order that I want to make. It is not the first time that Mr. Farage, addressing to myself, says, you have not been elected. Certainly I have not been elected by you, but I have been elected by this parliament. I have been elected in a secret vote by this parliament. And you belong to this parliament. I consider that always saying that myself or the Commission have not been elected is a lack of, res of respect to the Commission and to the parliament to which you belong. Be a taxpayer. Bene, bene. Bene, vi prego di non continuare. Please let's not continue with this. Vi prego, prego, vi prego. Raccolgo la precisazione del presidente. Now, following what Mr. Barroso said, well, I, th I thought that was a very fair comment, and I'll give the floor to Mr. Sosa Wagner for two minutes.